Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy, King J. Today we are going to be doing a Teach Me episode with Kaipa, Spain's finest Feng player, or I'd say finest Tekken player, he's a really, really strong player. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the key moves, key moves and stance, grabs, and how to fight against the character. You should know already if you've been watching the episodes and keeping up. So, Kaipa, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the key moves with Feng. So, you know, just show us the key moves and what Feng can do. And then we're going to go into key moves and stance. So anything that goes into, like, see stances, we'll do after this one. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So, hi, everybody. How are you doing? So, basically, we go to check uh, why Feng is strong and why Feng is weak. So, we're going to okay. start talking about the strong point, right? The key move, right? Mm -hmm. So, first of all, something very important is 1-2. Yeah. It's very strong with Feng. Good range. Yeah. One and one one. Everything yeah. is very similar, right? Yeah. But uh, you know, King Jai, after one, yeah. it's plus one, right? Yeah. Against the most of our characters. Yep. But we think this is different because one one is full combo, right? Nice. I will do one one and yeah. you have to try interrupt the move, try anything after the one, okay? Okay. So this full combo. This is very important. Why? Because that makes that Feng one is stronger than other characters because other characters can't do that you know what i mean yeah 100 percent yeah so one one is very strong you can do back one two or one movement but one is uh, one of the best tools with feng it's very important yeah with feng okay okay after one in this situation make feng uh, have totally priority what i mean is after one on block uh, you have to respect feng a lot mm. because this move okay you have some question at this point? Yeah. So you want me to do? Yeah. Do one one? Yeah. This that that's super strong. Why? Because if I throw move, I get catch. Always. Check it. I can't do anything, right? Maybe try a step left. Okay, go on. Nope. Or. Nope. Side wall, side wall left. I can't. I can't look. Yeah, try right now. There we go. Okay, right. So, what is the second best weapon back four? Damn. Yeah, I can't even move. You only can use a one to interrupt that. Because this is plus one, this is 12 frames, back four is 12 frames. So, you can do a one. Try one. Yeah, go on. Up. Yeah, okay, but. Then there's that. You have this, right? So, Feng is a lockdown character. Mm -hmm. Okay, Feng is like, he will hit you a lot because one 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 back one okay one back four back four is 12 frames homing mid safe yeah what do you think in there about back four strong weak very quick and it's my and it's not punishable either whereas one one is minus 11 but then even with one one you can continue it on with one one two yeah that's right but you know after the last patch or the second last patch i don't remember uh, now if i do one one two 1-1 one, one on counter hit doesn't give me combo. Ah, uh, okay. That's super bad now because uh, in season 2 I can do that. I can, if you press on the second, yeah, it will give you full combo anyway. Damn. But Did they change that in season 3? Yeah, season 3. Yeah. I uh. don't know why they nerfed Feng, you know? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense. But no, I understand. So what other key moves does he have, man? The down 4 is very important because it's zero on hit. Check. Feng is very comfortable on zero or minus one on, on block, right? Minus one, zero, zero, okay? So we have one, one, back down four, and back four. This is like a very small game, right? It's not not big damage, but it's like uh, to make your opponent respect you. It's like, mm. check down four. It's only 14 frames low. Not, mm. not, not too much damage, but that makes you your opponent respect you. You know, yeah. and the last key move on the the fast poking is back one. One of the best move in the game for me. You know how that work, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like any any. It kind of if you're if you can, it's basically like a counter hit. So if I press buttons, yeah. it will hit me down, and then you get a free back one plus two. Yeah. Also, uh, on double hit, back one is counter hit, like other mm. move. But after down four, try use one. Okay. Yeah. And this gives me free shoulder. Do that again. 
Oh, maybe not combo because we are using. Uh, it's it. like tongue, palm, palm, and yeah. shoulder. Yeah. So back one. Also, something that no one knows is back one is high crash. Damn. You know, for example, I can try use a one after down four two two. I don't remember if check it. Did you check it? If we are not very close, sometimes. Uh, but I think your your minus your minus. I think what your plus. Wait, gone. Do it again. No, when I'm in minus. Yeah. Down down uh, back one. Sometimes it's high crash. Damn. Maybe not. Maybe not against uh, Feng one because Feng is not tall. It's very very small character. So back one. I mean, so the one is very low. You know. Mm, yeah, it's yeah. High, but the hitbox, the hardbox is very low. Yeah. But back one sometimes it's make crouch. Crouch the the high, so we have one back one back four and down four. Okay, that has the th that move are the fast move. So this is the fast move with Feng. Okay, the key move, homing mid homing fast, uh, very good range, low fast. One is very important because was one is one one is full combo, mm. and now we go to talk about down four one. Okay, yeah. down four one is. A different down for one. Other characters has down for one with 13 frames. Feng is 14 frame, but on block is zero. And why is Feng so comfortable on zero? Because uh, back one, okay. Mm. Try a one after down for one to show people. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, free shoulder, okay. Yeah. So Feng poking is maybe one of the best poking in the game. Okay. Yeah. So what do you miss here? I mean, what move do you think is the next very important move, the next key move. We have good mids. What do we miss? We have I don't know. Lo we need launchers as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And lows. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, Kai Kaipo, give me one sec. Someone's at my door. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. One sec. Okay. Playing on tournament at a high level. Uh, all right. Cool. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's good. Everything's good. Let's go. Okay. So. Okay, I have listed Kinja uh, yeah. ten move like uh, key move. Okay, cool. Just ten, okay. Thank you so, very much. Thank you. Thank you. The first is one and one one. Okay, I explained it. Second, back one. Okay, high counter. Only ten frames. Yeah. Big damage. Yeah. It is minus ten, and it's very difficult to punish actually back one on block. Okay. After we have the don't move bottom back four. Okay. Okay. Back four is. What you are looking with back four is if the opponent try to Move. step, to crouch, anything, mm -hmm. back four will hit. Okay. The bad spot of back four is on block is minus nine. Yeah. And move forward to hit you. It is plus two only, but you are far. After get hit by playing back four, always do back dash. Okay, try back dash. So After you make it. Hit. Yeah, and you make a space and Feng don't reach you. Check it. Nice. Yeah, everything. The only spot, I mean, the only move that will reach you is down back three. So after get hit by back four with okay. Feng, always back dash, crouch. Yes, uh... always. And you will dodge everything except four four two. Check it. Get hit by back four. Yeah. Check you you dodge everything. Ah, sorry. That is crazy. But, yeah, that's that's crazy. So this is the reason because Feng is not top tier, mm -hmm. because when Feng uh, has a right guessing, what, if I do something like okay, Kinjai will step, I'm going back four yeah. on hit, I don't get I don't get too much reward. Oh, it's plus three when I step though. Have you seen that? Yeah, if you step right, it's plus three. If you step left, it's plus one. Oh. But anyway, the the range is very bad. You can always backdash, always. Okay. So it, back four on hit is like a reset. So. This is a strong point with Feng that back four is homing, but a weak point also because it reset the, the situation. Okay. You know? So, we have after down back four, I say down four one. This is the checking move, you know? It's like, okay, I don't know if my opponent go to crouch. I don't know if my opponent will try um, something like crouch or move or something like that. Yeah. Down four one is good. It's catch you on step, stepping right. It's catch you if you crouch and on block, I'm happy. You know, on yeah. block zero with Feng is fine. You know. What about on counter here? What does it do on counter here? This is what I'm talking now. Uh, okay. On counter hit, it gives you free mix up. Okay. Ooh. On counter hit, this is. Check what it. The... How much is it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go on, hold on. 
this is plus 36. Okay? And here, I go to talk, in this spot, I go to talk about Feng Mixup. Feng Mixup, the strongest mixup is size the 4. Okay? Oh my, yo. Size the 4 or size the down 4 or 3. Both of them are two mix up. Okay? You can't, people say, okay, I can react to the size the 4, I can react to down 4 or 3. No, no spot, it's not possible. I, I play it against the best players in the world, and this mix up is. 100% mix up, you can't react, you know? So, if What's you that? get hit, this is mix up, 100%. What, what, what is the strong point on this mix up? The mid launcher is safe. It's not even safe, it's on minus 7, yeah. Feng has different option. Try, for example, do down 4 1, okay? After okay. block down 4 3. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can I can do I can do different stuff. For example, try do down down two after down after down four or three on block. Okay, go on. Yeah. Check. So down four or three is strong. It's very strong. It has a, a very bad range. Okay, because the range is too short. If you do only one back dash, you can uh, out range down four or three. Mm -hmm. And also, size step four must be on clean. So if you see high level Tekken, when some top player like Aslan Ash or Ni is playing against Feng, they are always doing backdash. Mm -hmm. If you have a good backdash, I can't use this, this mix up. Only on your quick roll are only after down 4 1 or quarter ticket 4 4 while standing 4 on counter hit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we go with the next uh, key move. You know, when you have a, a strong low, like down two, yeah. you need a strong mid. I mean, uh, in Tekken you can be stand or crouch. Mm -hmm. So you need, if you have a good mid or a good low, yeah. you need the opposite with the same frames to make it a 50%. Yeah. If my mix up is after one, I do down four one, mm -hmm. I can do after one down two. Why? Because down four one is 14 frames, a startup, mm -hmm. down two is 20, you know? Yeah. So, what you can do now, King Jai, is after my one, stand a little bit and after crouch, okay? So you want me to do one after you've done one? Yeah, you, you after my one, yeah. you, you will stand a little bit and after crouch, okay? Okay. So, Whoa. what I go to do is a mix up between one down four one and one down two, okay? Okay. okay. And you have to block both, okay? Using the timing. I'll okay? try, I'll try, I'll try. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep trying, keep trying. Check it. Yeah. It's easy, right? When you practice a little bit, it's easy because yeah. the timing is different. Okay, now we go to do the same between down two and down forward two. Okay? Yeah, okay. Done. <laughs> you can't do the same. What you were doing before, it was called a fussy guard. And you can't do fussy guard when the mid and the low has the same startup. Okay, this is the reason because down forward 2 2 is very strong. Because it has the same startup than down 2. So players can't fussy guard that, you know? Yeah. It's very important. So when I'm talking about a key move low, I have always a key move middle with the same startup. Okay? So Man, down 2 and down forward 2 2. Why down 2 is strong? It's only minus 13 on block. It's not, uh, it's not minute 15, so only a few characters can launch. Yeah. Well, that will be, that'll be Kazuya, Josie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I can do it on the APP, but let me try. No, maybe I can do on the on Parsec, but it's give you a good combo. Oh, I can do I can do it. No. It's give you tan, 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 shoulder. What? Yeah. Yeah, this is my combo. <laughs> no one used that, only me. <laughs> this is why I got this is why I got him on. Because I can't get no other thing on that knows all of this stuff. This guy <laughs> is a is a technician with this character. Don't yeah, be fooled. Yeah, yeah. Don't be fooled, man. <laughs> this guy is a technician. Can you activate the rage on my on my friend please? Uh do you want you do you wanna have rage? Yeah. Okay. I need it. Yeah. Now check it. 
Oh, I, what? Reset. Oh, um. I, I can use uh, rate drive on the APP because it looks like. But you can do it anyway. You can do down to counter hit. Okay? Yeah. Out okay. can cancel. Down four, back four, rate sure. drive. And that was flat. Damn. I've yeah, never seen no one use that. I've never seen Yeah, no yeah, no, 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 uh, no one knew that. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, so yeah, teach us some more stuff, man. I want to know some more stuff. I know he's got his quarter circle forward mix up as well, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so now we're going to talk about one of the most special uh, key moves with Feng. <laughs> Dumbback 3. People, some people think that Dumbback 3 is not very strong because if you block it, you can launch. Okay. But Dumbback 3 is... Insta high crash move with a very nice range, okay? Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is that move if is homing. And people don't doesn't people don't know about it. It's homing. You can't step it. Check right, you can step and left. Also you can't, okay? So that's super strong. This is a move like uh, similar to down four with Akuma. Very mm -hmm. similar. This is a move that or you are crouching, or you will get hit by this move, you know? Yeah. So, if we see on paper, the fence offense is very strong, right? We have good lows, a, a homing low, a homing mid very fast. At the moment, he's re we have a solid 50-50 with size to 4, size to down 4, 3. Mm -hmm. Okay? And now, now, uh, we're going to talk about one of the best moves of Feng for me. But people don't don't know about it. You know this move? Yeah. This is very strong. This is launcher. And the most important stuff. This hit. Follow your uh, your opponent to the bad uh, step. I mean if you if you are on range and you try to step faint, you will step it to your left. Okay? If you step to your left, no no, the other side. Okay, I will do one and you side wall left, okay? Okay. Check it. Okay? You can step everything to the left, but if I do this, I mean, sorry, uh, it was. It will hit you. And this full combo. And I have a second hit, 4 4 4 3. If you try to punish the first hit, you will hit by the second one. Okay, so that mm -hmm. move is very important to make your opponent uh, don't step too much, you know? Yeah. Because when you are facing a top player like Tishimon or something like that, they will try always to step you until you, step, you start to use 4 4 4. So then they will not step too much. So the other key move is 4 4 4, like I said. Mm -hmm. And with all that move we talk it uh, 1 1 back 1 back 4 down 4 1 down 2 down forward to 2 down back 3 mm -hmm. down 4 4 4 4 and the mix up the size step 4 or size step down forward 3 mm. we have a very nice offense right yep so the what, what do you think India, about the weak spot of Feng? what do you think where is the weak spot i think personally from like previous experience i would say that it's his combos i don't think his combos are that great yeah, you are right. This is one of the weak spots. Now with the new string, you can do better combos. But anyways, doesn't work too much. Come mm. here. Uh, I will try. Maybe it works. I don't know. Um, I have problems to do it because the parsec. Enemy... Yeah, parsec. Yeah. But and this is full combo. Okay, also and has a good gold carry. But anyway, like you said. The combos are very linear, very you know. Inconsistent. I have two different I combos here. Yeah. Mm. So, Feng has one of the best Okis on the game. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm talking about Aoki, I'm talking about a situation after a combo. Mm -hmm. One of the best. We go to talk about it after. Mm -hmm. But not too much damage on the combos, and not very. For example, Ali or Akuma or uh, Eliza, Kasumi, Fakunra. Every every top character has very nice combos to adapt to every situation you know mm -hmm. if you are here uh, if you are close to the near to the world if you are far from the world you have always a good a very good combo in some in every situation Feng hasn't the combos are always the same mm. and the other very weak spot are the punish mm. are the punish 10, 10 frames punish is one to two mm -hmm. uh, 
This is on hit. Move for me. Uh, this is on hit. Only plus three. Good damage, but only plus three. You know? And people say to me, yeah, but Feng can be back turn after the 10 frames. Here is plus five, but you can do option select. If you do here, back back crouch, you will avoid everything. Try it. Okay. What? Yeah, sorry, I didn't. Yeah, and. Yeah. What? My fault. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Check it. <gasps> yeah, you avoid Whoa. everything. So Whoa. at high level, you can't. 1 2 2 is not a big problem, you know? Because what you are looking with a 10 frame punish is good preference to can pressure, you know? If yeah. People use 1 3. But 1-3 on hit is plus 6, but not too much damage, you know? It's mm. not like, uh, you know, top character has very strong punish. And after that, Feng hasn't a 12 punish. You don't have a 12 frame punish? No, he hasn't. Oh. Yeah, so you only can do 1-2 to two mm. on 10 frames yeah. on shoulder on 13 frames. Shoulder is strong, but after that, you haven't a 14, you have your 15 frames is hop kick with very bad range. Yeah. So sometimes against Feng, some characters can be minus 15 and Feng can only get a, a shoulder. Uh... You know? So it's, with, a, with good tools on defense, he could get, uh, it, it could be better. Feng could be better, but at the moment he's not too much strong because that. But anyway, the offense is good. 1-2 is good, down for 1-1-1. One, one, one. Back one, homie move, middle. So, good 50 50, uh, good offense, bad punish. You mm -hmm. know, at the moment, bad combos. And now in Tekken, for example, Dragunov is good punish, good combos, good tools, good offense, good defense, you know. Yeah. Okay, now I want to talk about a very common situation. This time for one on block. Yeah. We're standing one on block, okay. Minus one for me, zero, zero. Here is where I win the in tournaments. In tournaments, when I see when I see that my opponent doesn't know about how Feng works on this situation, is where a Feng player win, you know? Yeah. You know what option I have here? After down for one. So side step? Oh, oh. Yeah, side step is very well. It's mm -hmm. very good, yeah. Or back one if they if you feel like they're pressing buttons if you can yeah, see they're you're aggressive. Right. That's right. That's mm -hmm. that's right. Back one defeat everything. Side wall is also strong. Mm -hmm. And now, when uh, the opponent starts to respect you to don't use mid moves, okay? Mm -hmm. Because a mid here is very slow, you know. Yeah. If you try use a mid here, I can defeat you with back one with back four. Now I have a 50-50 here. I can do. Try after down for one, okay? Mm -hmm. Try uh, one, okay? Okay. Check it. Pang. Pang. Oh, sorry. Pang. I, I mean, I have too many options to defeat your jab. Like four, five options. So. We didn't speak about up forward two as well. That move is so good. Yeah, I, I will speak about it uh, uh, in this situation because up forward two is. The most special key move with Feng, I mean, is the only character with with this tool. Sidestep, move, mid, it's safe because minus 10, but check the range, right? You, mm -hmm. you can't punish that. So but It's minus it's 10 nice though, so it's very hard. It's very, I think maybe like maybe Gigas might be able to do one, two, maybe? Not even, you need to be close to the wall to punish it. Damn. And I love it because in some situation where your opponent is like plus nine, you are totally out of the game, you have no life, use it, and a lot of time you you crouch. Some, for example, try I don't know, try use down four one one two. Check it. It's like magic, you know. Thing has a lot of cool. Uh... Do again, do again. Check it. Thing has a lot of very cool. A, a passive move. Crazy. That yeah, is it's very tricky. Crazy. It's like, uh, and when you are facing Feng, if you don't know exactly how Feng works, Feng will destroy you. You know, because too many 
How, in tournaments. How do you think <laughs> Feng? How do you think Feng does against Mashimas then? Because obviously he has a lot of high evasive stuff, and that would like kind of like eliminate the Ledger and Godfish, right? Yeah, uh, Fangs against Mishima mm, are are okay, but not too much, you know, because Mishima's, for example, Kazuya has very nice tool. Down forward two with Kazuya, destroy every evasive move with Feng, every passive move, and you don't have a good twelve punish. Uh, I mean, I feel King that comfortable, but not too much, you know. It's yeah. okay, but not too much. Kazuya for me is King that counter. Mm. Hey, Hashi is okay, Devil Jin is okay, but also Devil Jin has very nice punish against Feng. Uh, While standing 1-4 with Devil Jin is very nice to the lows of Feng. Mm. But anyway, um, I think Feng has only three good matchups are Jack, because Jack can't do anything against Feng spamming, spamming move on your face, you know? It's like Jack uh, has only forward two to stop it. But it's very high, so you can crouch it with a lot of different tools. Dragunov also, mm. because Kempo. I go to talk about Kempo now. Okay. I think people know Kempo, right? People oh, in your oh, chat. Oh, are we moving into stances, yeah? Are we yeah, done with keeping yeah, yeah. All right, let me let me just show you guys that we, we're going to be moving into different stances. Obviously, moves in stance. We know that thing has he has the Kempo stance, and I know that stance is very very good for evasive stuff. But you know, Kuiper is going to be a lot more better than me. To explain it, so Kaipa, take it away, man. Okay, so the first of all, a stance that stance Kempo on season one was broken. Okay, <laughs> was super strong because it had guard always, practically all, always, but now it's Kinda nerfed anyway, so it's very good, you know. Mm -hmm. This stance is you can see it's a defensive stance, and you have one option. This is the fast option. Try down for one after my down for one, okay? Okay. Okay. It's very cool, good damage. Mm -hmm. And it's a safe option. If you don't know if your opponent whiff is a very slow whiff, a big whiff, like uh, for example a home a launcher or something like that, you use three back three plus four, this Kempo. Yeah. Two. And very good damage, good good range. On block is only minus nine. And, this is and pushback nice. as well. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, the pushback is super. Also, people sometimes try to use them for one after the tempo. Check, check. You are very close. Yeah? Very, I mean, very far. You are very far after tempo too. After that, after tempo, you have the most famous move on tempo, tempo 3. This <laughs> is the. And for example, try a hop kick after my down for one. Okay. This is full combo, launcher, mid. And on block is minus, minus 13. Minus 12. No, sorry, 12. Yeah. 12, yeah, 12. So it's not too much risk, you know? So you try you try make your opponent whiff. And Kempo, the most strong part of Kempo is it's like a very nice backdash. You do backdash Kempo, you do back, back 3 plus 4. And it's like a very big backdash, you know? So when you are trying to rush into Feng, you have to take care about the, the bug one, the Kempo, and it's very uncomfortable rushing into Feng. People on Tekken World Tour, it's like they don't want, they don't want to go into Feng. Uh, they need to bait Feng. If if a Feng if a Feng Wei player is not, uh, is playing safe, is playing solid, it's very difficult to go in, into him because they, the stance. Mm. And after this. If your opponent respects you, you have one. Check the damage. Mm. Can you do it, please? Back three plus four one. Wow, that... Yeah, to check the damage. Twenty-two plus eight. Okay, so here we have something very good. Is also you can do it plus eight. This <laughs> try back dash, okay? Ah, uh, cool. Uh... You can back dash. Got backdash to, to escape the. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you backdash, I think you can. You know, you have the mix up anyway, but it's better. What what you do always is like lock down here, like use lows or something like that, mm. and try to make your opponent don't move after that. But people doesn't know that you can backdash here, the mix up. Okay. So, Kempo is easy. A, a, a small whiff, two, big whiff, three. Mm -hmm. If they respect you, one or three. 
like mix up. This is a mix up. They can't react. Both move has like 20, 21 start up the low, and the mid is 22, so they can't uh, react. You know, it's the same. So this is one of the best stands in the game for me. Maybe, maybe the best for me because it's not only you know the stance in this game give you better move that without the stance Lo lower risk bigger reward but with think it's not only better move it's only a uh, control you know you control the the situation with the tempo okay what about stepping can you step after the any any of those stuff or no you get hit oh but you can what do, do you back for after you don't like when you do uh, this and then you do uh -huh. like a follow-up can I step uh -huh. anyway or n nah. no? Because plus Lockdown. eight is too much. Plus, plus eight. eight. Uh, okay. Try, try, try step. Try step. You can step that, but you know, people wish was standing four. Oh yeah, I can't step that. Well, standing four is only three frames, you know, because plus eight, eleven move, only three, three frames. You haven't, you haven't typed. So what people do is just after get hit, they don't move, and this is an error. You have always to backdash because on backdash you have guard. You know? Yeah, someone you in the chat said, um, like, see the stance and then step. You're not going to do that. In, in, it's, it's too hard to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you ain't going to have time. Go on, try it again. Like, see? Yeah. That. You, you can step later. Ah, what do you mean is a step before the stance? Yeah. Ah, you, okay, okay. After, after the stance. Yeah, you can try. Try. Yeah. I just said, yeah. Yeah, two is... You can do it, but, you know... You, no one's not player. gonna be stepping like that. Like, I know what you mean. Like so, no, that like, when when in 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 tournament match, like mm -hmm. some of these stuff can be avoidable, but then it's like you have moves that will track the other way to what you're stepping. Yeah. So sometimes to be safe, you have to just block. That's the best you way have, I would say. It. The, the the you know I think player at high level, for example, when I play Feng on tournament, after Kempo, I will only attack if the opponent with. You know, mm. I don't need to use that stance. I don't. Only what I do is if I do, for example, 20 times Kempo, I will attack random only the 21, you know? So it's very difficult. Yeah. Now, I will, we go to talk about shifting clouds. Shifting okay. clouds are 4 or 3 plus 4. Yeah. This stance is it's very strong on Oki Semes. And why? Because we have this low. This low deals a lot of damage. This minus 40. Okay, but it's a good low anyway, and it hits you on the ground. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, we have 4 3 plus 4, 4, and 4 3 plus 4, 2. And this move is kind of tricky because it's minus 13, but people sometimes try to punish with 10 frames and doesn't reach sometimes. If you are oh. not very close, don't move. Okay. Don't move. We'll, we'll go to first. Check it. <laughs> so, you can punish that. So, mid. Low, okay, mm. and people sometimes use that, but this I don't like it because it's very flashy, okay, it's very flashy move yeah. and give you full combo, but you don't need it because with this move you have a 15 frames launcher, you know. Mm. And what is the good spot between this stance and Kempo? From Kempo, you can go into shifting clowns pressing forward. <laughs> yeah, and shifting clouds has auto parry. Yeah, it's right? auto parry. Yeah. So yeah, right. after, for example, what do uh, you want me to do? Uh, try one, one, two. Okay, you know something cool is that you can block that hit with a just frame pressing back, and if you do it, this is minus sixteen. Really? But you only have yeah, you only have one frame. You can so try. What do, what do you want me to do? One, one, two. Try block. When the the hand hits you, you can okay. press back only one frame. And if this works, you nah. get three launcher. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Yeah, it's very difficult. No, you, you can you can you here with the hand hit you. But it's very difficult. It's that just frame. So what do you want? Doesn't know. What do you want me to do then after it? Back. You have oh. to press back once. Okay. Only one tap. I'm very back. difficult. <laughs> nah, ah, okay, nah. go to options. Go to options. Uh, display settings. Uh, recovery animations. Display. And now you will see that your character. 
I saw a brief blink, that? yeah. One, one frame, one blink is that where you can, yeah. But that. very difficult, very difficult. Okay, so we have that. Feng stands are good, but of course the best is uh, Kempo. Is the best one. This is the best one to make your opponent whip mm -hmm. and punish with full combo. If you don't, my recommendation is if you are not uh, comfortable yet with the stance, don't go for the three. Just go for two. Mm -hmm. Two is only 14 frames instead 22, and you can get good damage. You know, at the beginning when, when I was learning Feng, I was trying always do 10 point to three because it's very cool, give you full combo, and you know, it's flashy, but. Mm. Everyone was whiffing on my face and blocking, you know, yeah. <laughs> because it's difficult to recognize which move you have to use yeah. uh, Three or two. So at the beginning use always two and after start to learn with which move are you looking for? When I playing against a player with Feng, when I'm playing Feng, sorry, if I'm playing against Dragunov for example I'm looking to whiff punish with three, tempo three, while running two or, or down two, something like that, something big, you know, something big with yeah, I don't like the high, sorry, the high, because it's like the low, but doesn't give you the damage, you know what I mean? No follow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's high. Uh, if you are blocking a stand, you will block. If you are crouch, you will dodge anyway. So, on mix-up, only looking for a, f a mid or low. Okay. What was the other thing I got from this? Okay? It, yeah. On counter hit, 4, 4, 3. People doesn't know. People use always this. Oh, oh sorry. Bam, bam. This is good damage, but if you check. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. This is guaranteed also. Okay. And it's the same with back tempo one. If you get it on counter hit, bam. Big damage and good frames. After 4 4 3 on the ground. Mm. You can keep going to pressure because it's your turn anyway. After this, people doesn't know this. After this hit, it's not my turn. Mm. Because the the stomp, the down plat. Oh, sorry. No worries. Uh, this. If you press back, after get hit by the stomp. Okay. It's your turn. Press back, never up, always back. Yeah. Sorry. Back and I can't. You know, people do. Uh, people use in that spot quick roll, so it's my turn because they do quick roll. Try it using quick roll here. Okay. Mm. If they press back, it's not my turn. Anyway. The stomp with Feng is not 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 very good because good damage, but the frames on hit are very weak. Even if you are a stand, this situation is very common. Uh, okay, I will. I'm looking for hit you with the stomp when you are stand, okay? So I will do one and you press up, okay? After my one. Press up here. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oops, sorry. do it again, do it again, okay. so I was yeah. ready. Check, on hit, this is plus two from the opponent. This is very That's crazy, what? Why is it? Yeah, plus... yeah. No one knows that. People, even <laughs> top players in Europe, when they get hit by the stomp, they always respect me. But they don't know that a stomp on hit is negative for the fame player. It's very important. That is so bizarre. Yeah. And that doesn't even make any sense, but... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Why. I'll take it. Plus, plus, we're on plus two next time. So next time, yeah, if I ever play against you, you in tournament and I see the stamp, I'm, I'm not respecting it. Yeah, and of course, you know, every fame player in the world, after the stomp, they keep playing like they are in plus eight, you know? Because <laughs> no one interrupts that moment. Uh, everyone respect. So when I facing a fang player, and they get, uh, I get hit by the st the stomp, I always use hop keep. Always, 100% guaranteed. Because they go forward into down forward into side step four, you know. Yeah. So that's very important. Okay. Let's and talk now, about the core circle forward moves because we. I don't think these yeah. moves have been spoken about, and I still think it's not really a stance, but it's. I think it's a motion. I'd say so. Yeah, this is go. We're going to go talk about. We were talking before about short range, range yeah. zero, range one. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about long range. This move, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, this move is like one of my favorite move with Feng. Because people think that you can recognize it. And of course, at high level, you can recognize it. 
recognize it, but you can't see the difference yeah. between this yeah. and this. Because yeah. the the startup of both movements are very similar, you know? Very similar. Yeah. 20 the so, startup frames as well, they're both 22, 23. Yeah. And yeah. not only the 22 startup, is also if you see things. Can I press start? What do I have to start? Ah, okay. Do it. Oh, um, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm looking for show to the people that the 10 first frames or both move are the same. You know, yes. are the same. You yeah. can't see the difference at the at the beginning. And I I've, I've been playing against Feng like 10 years in a row because there is a very strong Feng player in my hometown, and I can see if they go to use if he goes to use this one, but if you use the second one, the middle option. I will be hate 100% <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's the same. Yeah. So, max range, big move, okay. Yeah. But for me, the best move on long range with Feng is this one. You know why? Because on block it's minus one, and minus one Feng has a four four. Feng has back one, back four, down four, down back three. You know. Yeah, against yeah. against every character with Feng, you want fight. From zero or one range, this range. You don't want to fight here, because if you are here, you good move doesn't hit. You know. Yeah, you, you have to be, be zero. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be zero and close range, zero range. Yeah. So West standing one is perfect, even on block. People think that oh, this thing is using West standing one, and I'm blocking that. I'm winning. No, no, no. If you are blocking West standing one, you are losing against thing, because <laughs> you are going into his best game. You know. Mm. Here, no, there is no character that in this range can defeat Feng. Feng uh, is the best character in this range in the game. I was saying but, this before, you know, anyone at range zero, I don't think anyone in range zero could beat Feng. Yeah, yeah, you are you're totally right. But you know, the problem is when you are facing a good player, if you try to do that against JDCR or Arslan Ash, Pakistani players, they will step left and punish. You know, like with launcher. It's difficult, but... Oh, sorry. Block one and try it. Alright, go on, hold on. Block one. Oh, fuck. Oh, try right, try right. My right, fault, cool. my fault. Oh, my... Now it's coming. It's the best card in the game, right? <laughs> no, you know, I have... The problem oh, there we go, is, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But the problem is, we are using Parsec, so when I try while standing one, I'm doing... Uh, might be delay it. Delay it. Delay it. Yeah, 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 so it's it follow you. But yeah, you can step and launch. This is a problem. This is the reason because in that range, down back three is very strong here. Because everyone is looking for a step where standing one, you do down back three and it's coming. You know. But here, th there is a problem for Feng because a good player, there is a mix up between step where standing one and launch or block down back three and launch. You know? Yeah. In both options, Feng gets launched and the opponent only gets hit by a, a small low. You know? Yeah. Okay, so long range with Feng is not too much powerful, mm. but it's enough to get on close range, you know? Everything against, I mean, everything with Feng is only is the signet for get close, for get range zero. Everything. Dumb back three make you be range zero while standing one on block, range zero, you know? This is what you have to look in for if you are playing Feng. Mm -hmm. If you are playing Feng, you want to be on the face of your opponent, rushing with your super strong pokes. You don't want... If you are facing Devil Jin, you don't want to be far, you know? Mm -hmm. Devil Jin has electrics, you can't do anything <laughs> against electrics, so... Okay, okay. So do you want to move into grabs? Because I know that he has other moves like with the crouch dash, you can do... Yeah. I... I want to talk about uh, side step on zero with Feng. Okay. This is a very big because the throws are only strong from back turn. Okay. Okay. So I will talk about back turn stance after. Okay. Let's talk about back. Um, what are you gonna talk about now then? The side step. Okay. This cool. On zero, very important. This is like this defeat every option in the game practically, except except homing, of course. Try one two for example. You know, while standing three, you can do it from quarter three or four. This is while standing three, and it's high crash and good range. So you do step, 
Oh, sorry. Ah, I can do. Ah, uh, with classic. Oh, the classic, yeah. Yeah, but it's very strong. Yeah, that's right. Okay. If you do. Sometimes, when I see something players, they are always attacking. Okay, like 1 1, 1 4 1, tan, tan. Sometimes the best you can do with Feng on Zero is sidewall and check. Sidewall, check, hop kick. Because you have to mix everything and don't attack is always a good option on fighting games, you know? Hmm. What do you think about the headbutt as well? Because we didn't talk about the headbutt. The headbutt is super strong on quick roll. We go to talk on... Uh, after on Okiseme, okay? We yeah. will talk about Okiseme. I will uh, talk after, after about uh, combos and Okiseme. And headbutt is one of the best tools on the Okiseme because on block it's plus four and close, you know? Block it. You can oh, always... Oh, this is crouch as well. Oh, whoa. Yeah, crouch. But tr do backdash always, okay? On yeah. block against Fink, always backdash. Try. Even if this reach you, you are kinda far, you know? Check. Mm. If you backdash in that spot, don't fall one. Oh, let me... You can step left, fussy guard. Step left, block. Ooh. Yes, that is very important, you know, because if you step left, you will dodge down for one most of the time, and you can punish with launcher in that spot. And if I <gasps> even you, whoa, even whoa, you because whoa, the range, whoa, yeah, because whoa. the range, whoa, this is because the range has very short range back four. So people, playing players, always down back three, down back three, or. Headbutt, oh sorry, headbutt in, into headbutt, you know? Yeah. I think there's I think there's like two moves that I've got to mind that I think we ha didn't talk about in key moves. I know we're talking about it in the wrong section, but I feel like there's sidestep one plus two. Uh, yeah, on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I think that's very good. And I think uh, one plus two as well for a lot of a lot of moves. One, one plus two, yeah, it's very tricky. I love it. I don't know if people... If some people watch my my games on tournament, mm. I always use one plus two in some spot. For example, try use the one. Yeah, go on. uh, block a four one. A full combo. That's very strong. Even it's good because it catches some time the steps mm. and only minus thirteen. You know, it's not like a typical parry that if you with the parry, the opponent can destroy you. This parry has after a hit. That's very strong. That's very strong. Ah. Oh, uh, Kasli on your chat is asking, can down 4 4 2 reach if you back that after the headbutt? No, because of course it will reach, but while the opponent is doing uh, backdash, they have guard. Okay, try backdash after the headbutt. Okay. Check it. We get nothing. Mm. The backdash is always the safe option because it's like, it's the same that only block but moving. Yeah. You're welcome, Catholic. Okay. So, uh, we're going to talk about the world game now, okay? A world game, okay. In world game, Feng is a beast. Because they can't step you the size step 4, and they can't uh, backdash. I mean, they can backdash the size step 4, they can backdash down 4 at 3. And down 4 at 2 2 is super strong because wall bounce. But. The most OP move on the wall is down for a one. Because it let you very close. There is no pushback after. And it let you in a situation check our hand is touching each other. <laughs> if you try anything, back one will defeat you. Try for example one. Uh, try again. Check it. Good damage. So and here. Uh, back four on hit let you very close also. Try a step after down for one. Check it. We are on the face. You know? If the opponent move after back four on hit, back four is guaranteed. You know? So people on the wall, they lose the step, they lose the backdash. So Feng is super strong here. You can do three or four. Uh, wow, nice step. <laughs> you can do. <laughs> You can do free size step four. You can do free size step on four or three. And here, we change the mix. You, do you remember that we were talking about the mix up with size step four, size step on four or three, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Now we change size to 4. Uh, I mean, we have size to 4, okay? But instead of 4 or 3, we have size to 1 plus 2. Why? Because this is plus 1. And if this move lands, it's full combo. Mm -hmm. Okay, check it on hit. You can do full combo here, blah, blah. Okay. That, hey, that combo was sick. Hey, that is the ball. Even, this is plus one, that means uh, the opponent. In this spot, a lot of people doesn't know that they are minus, so they try move, they try attack. And you have back one here. Try, for example, after blocking, try a one. Okay. Check it. Okay. Okay, so you have full combo after. Or you can do size the one plus two into size the four. It's like. Okay, I try to kill you, I didn't kill you, I try to kill you anyway. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I try to kill you, oh, back one. And here also on the wall, everything uh, followed by back forward one, this evasive move, mm. is super dangerous. Something that I use on tournament when I need to win the round and the opponent is on the wall is, for example, this move, okay? Yeah. Minus seven, you see, okay, minus seven, this is a good movement, a, a good spot to attack, right? Yeah. Use, for example, pff, I don't know, mm, that, use whatever you want. You know, I don't care because back for one, that spot is super strong. But aren't you not scared to use that move because it's minus 15? I'm, yes, but some, if you have been blocking like three or four times in a row, mm -hmm. you won't attack. And when you see a big block, like for example, down for a three, okay, this is a mid launcher. The opponent thinks, okay, I have been blocking one, down four, one, down four, one, down four, or three. Okay, mm. he tried a mid launcher. This is my turn. Okay, so mm. it's like very tricky. Of course, you have, you can't use always back for one in the same spot. Okay. But on tournament, first to two, <laughs> uh, the opponent have been blocking like too many hits when mm. they they need attack. You know, I think. My back for one on tournament hit percent rate is very 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 high. I mean, everyone, everyone always. If you don't play against Feng every day, yeah. back for one is very easy to land. You know, mm. what does that a good counter against that is move forward and attack. Try after we're standing four. Try forward forward and forward one. Okay. I go. On. Yeah. Forward Ooh. forward and forward one. But you must you must be fast. No no use down for one. I oh, will down for one, down one. one. Okay, go on. Down for one. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because plus very six and you got mixed up. Hit, yeah, you have some it's like you are looking for a stop the opponent of do, using that, but you are not losing your turn. What people do after my down four or three is okay, I go to respect waiting for the buff for one, okay? Mm. What? Then they are losing the turn. You know what I mean? If, I understand if, fully what you mean. Yeah. After down four or three, if you respect for this, yeah. I have a turn anyway. Mm. So you are making my mid launcher give me advantage. You know. So you have to looking for an option that defeat if I use that and defeat me if I don't use that. Okay. You know? Cool. So let's let's go yeah. into let's go into the grabs because we still got to do how to fight me okay. section. So we're gonna move it into the grabs. I know Thing has some grabs. He has he has a reversal as well. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about the reversal, the grab section, and yeah, just teach me through the grabs. I know he's got like maybe one command grab. I think one one command grab. The uh, punching the pun oh he's got one from back turn as well. Right yeah. So go through the grabs with me and let me know what the grabs are saying. Okay, the grabs. I don't like too much the grab from. Uh, for for this stance, I prefer the back turn grab. Why? Because Feng has only this special grab. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I mean is, against Feng, you only must check the one plus two grab, because you don't care about the others. You yeah. know. Against Feng, what I do is okay. I will break always one, except if I see one plus two. Mm. So that's uh, not good grabs, but from back turn, the game is totally different. Okay, because I have this special grab. This is one plus two break. Check the damage. The damage is close to 50, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 50, right? I don't know. Do it. <coughs> it's back turn, one plus four. How do I go back, back turn? Back turn is uh, back three, four. 
press Sorry. 3 and after 4. Do we again? Say like, again? Uh, press back. Yeah. Do you do back 3 and then 4? Oh, yeah. okay. Ah, 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4, yeah? Yeah. Check the damage. 50. 50. Okay. And very nice okay here, okay? So, you know, at high level, when Frank is back turned, everyone break 1 plus 2, you know? Everyone. But then, you have true 50 50 because this throw is normal throw. This is 2 plus 4 back turn. Yeah. Okay? And this is 1 plus 2. That means uh, you can't see the difference. Check it. Don't be close. Don't be close. Okay, cool. Show to, uh, people that the hands are the same. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 1 whoa, plus 2? 1 plus 2? Yeah. 2 plus 4. You can't see the difference. So this is true mix up, true 50 50. You know. Wait one second, why is it like that then? So what do I have to break? You see, some back turn throws, you have to break with one or two if it's back turn, but it's generic throws if it's normal. No, is that the I same think, thing? I think you break one, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, still this the same. This is two, this is two, yeah, yeah and you two. break one anyway. So, but if you break one here, this is full damage. That is cheap. And now, if you try move, try anything. Move after the after the throw. Try anything, okay? okay. Free shoulder. Okay. And obviously, in his back turn, he has. Uh, what does he have uh, from his back turn stance? This like, is the big the big mix up is down three. Yeah. It's, it's the same system that size the four. You mean it? Be, it must be clean, okay? Yeah. It must be clean. So people is always doing back dash, you know. I don't know if you see play me play my, my gameplay against King and Trench on tournaments. Yeah. But it's like uh, you know, it's like you can move like this, very sick. Like people is like waiting for side step four for the back sweep and the mix up is or one plus two. Yeah. Or you can do instant you do you do crouch instant back uh, instant turn yourself. How to say that in English? It's like down four. Down four, okay. Down four, neutral three, neutral three. Oh. It's difficult, but yeah, that's that right. If you do fast enough, like that. it's mixed up with down three. Mad. So how do you do? Yeah. How do you? Um, actually, no. Let's talk about the throws, and then we're gonna talk about. Uh, there's something I wanna ask you after. So. Throws, huh? So yeah, so we're still on the, about the topic of throws. So like, he's up for throws. So like this one, you don't get anything. I see a lot of thing players do down. No, they you, have to do you down get back a three. mix up in that spot. Yeah, mix up. After that, you have. Okay, it just froze. Don't worry, it's gonna it's gonna redo again. We'll always we use in that situation. Yeah. Because oh, Parsec is giving me problems. Yeah. yeah. All right, should be okay now. Ah, nice. Okay, so. Try roll on the floor. Check, you can roll. Yep. But you know, side step, stomp. Ah, sorry, if I do a good side step, I will get you anyway. Oh my! Ah no, four four, four four, back four. Yeah, that's right. You know, this is a, like a small mix up between mm -hmm. a stomp or four four a stomp, mm -hmm. but you can stand crouch. So you have headbutt. Yeah. Fbat is very strong on mix up to it's like okay I think my opponent will crouch but if they don't crouch I don't care because it's my turn anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. So and the other throw then yeah, we, there's no O okay keys at all. No, okay, okay. What what about against the wall? Let me let me yeah, let me go to the wall. Uh, check it. If you move Oh sorry. If you move, I think, but you have to be, you know, very, yeah, it's a weird position. Yeah, but you have to be very close in a very special axis because, so people use always but turn two or one or one plus two throw, and now we have this throw the down four or one plus two throw. That mm. I like it, but you know, at high level, everyone will break it. But anyway, if they don't break it, we have this option. Mm -hmm. We have like a good 50 50 in that spot, you know? Yeah. Down two will hit you always. If you if you don't uh, forward. Uh, you know, do forward roll. People doesn't know that, but do forward roll. Yeah. 
Oh my god. With four roll, you avoid that. most of the of the hits. Oh my god, bro, yeah. this is blowing my mind, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. If Kane catch you with the one plus to throw, forward roll always. But uh, uh, do do forward roll after this throw. Yeah. You know. A good Feng will do forward forward, but you know, you are forcing Feng to do forward forward. And something very good is after down forward one plus two, sometimes it's very good attack with the three. Okay? okay, because cool. sometimes people after down four one plus two throw, they try the big mix up, the size the four, mm. or size down four three. So use three, use the three. Okay. You know the three will catch me one hundred percent in the mix up, and you have full combo with one one plus four. Okay. So people say to me, hey, you are a random guy. You are using the three after the after the hit, right? But it's like. Everything always try the big mix up after the throw. Always try the big mix up. So it's like I'm not random guy. You are greedy, you know. <laughs> you try the the big mix up always. So uh, is, is that the throws done? Are we done with the throws? Yeah, throws are not strong with Feng. It's only you know the good mix up from back turn. But you know this is when you are looking for a big. I only like throws back turn when mm. you need. A comeback or something like that, you know, you're looking for the big damage But it's risky because if you crouch it Crouch, you know, you can punish very easy So I wanted to ask now, now that we've done the throws, like you, you, you're able to do the quarter circle forward movement Oh, I'm, I'm able to do it too, but like, how, what's your best way of doing it? Uh, with my stick, I can, I can do it that That's yeah. very useful because from here, one of the K moves that I didn't say before, but Nah. Because this high level, you know, this yeah. we're standing for is a K move in high level. But it's like a mid 11 frames. Yeah. But you use that to break your uh, opponent uh, steps. You know, it's like mm. it's like a counter cut, but you have to take care because Devil Jin has electric. You know, uh, Claudio 4442 Dragunov. It's like you are moving like this to get some damage. But the best option here for me, this one, always this one, but I think for one, because this is mid crash. This, this, try for example one four three. One four three. Yeah. Ah, well, maybe uh, on parsec I can't show that. But this move win every trade in a very sick way, you know, because you know you know arc blast with Lars. Yeah. Four one plus two with. Lars. You crouch with this. You crouch hop kicks, you crouch shoulders with Fang with this, this move is sick. Mm -hmm. So that gives you full combo on counter hit. But quarter figure forward is okay, but it's flashy. Yeah. And it's good because you can use side step 4 from it, you can use that headbutt while standing one. But it doesn't give you too much pressure. It's better use down back 3, one, 1 on block is mm -hmm. one of the best tools with Fang. So I don't like the quarter figure forward too much. Much. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. So now we're gonna go into the next part of the stream, which is well, the next part of the teach me session, should I say, mm -hmm. which is how do you fight against a uh, uh, thing? Nice. So let me know how you can fight against thing, and okay. yeah, uh, I would I'd like all the tips you give. You pretty much give me a lot of the tips, anyways. Yeah. But you know, just give us like this couple, you know, just a few things uh, how on how to fight okay. against him. All right, let's get into it, man. Okay, perfect. So, uh, when you go to prepare against a character, uh, you have to fight against the strong tools. Why I say that? Uh, if you have Feng, if you are facing a Feng, Feng and strong tools are always close range. Back one, back four, down two, down four, one two, one one. So what do you have to do against Feng? Easy. Be far. Don't be on range. I don't know what character you go to use, but anyway, I'm sure that your character from long range is stronger than Feng, you know? Mm. So, backdash always. My first advice is, if you go to block, always backdash, instead block, because you have guard on the backdash. And why? Because you need to fight against size step 4, okay? And you don't have to crouch, because if you crouch, I mean, of course, sometimes on quick roll you have to uh, take the risk, but mm. if you crouch on open, open ground, you will get, 
you will get into the mix up and you don't want you need avoid the mix up don't fight against them avoid them okay mm -hmm. so what i mean is for example a small example after this backdash okay okay check okay hit you but this is minus two for me and i don't get the i don't get the the combo right mm -hmm. so always backdash here backdash also okay after what's standing one backdash okay check backdash always it's like then the feng player has to use down two or down back three mm -hmm. and in that spot step left okay check it go okay. up after this situation step left okay okay hop kick check it okay hop kick, yeah mm -hmm. what i can do because people say okay feng, feng has a mid 12 frames homie move and if i step it mm -hmm. will hit me, blah blah blah. Okay, mm -hmm. but doesn't care because check the damage. No risk, you know? Mm. You need. It's like you can't face Feng and don't step because he has the homing. You must force Feng to use the homing. And how force him? Using back, uh, using step left, using back dash. You never, never, ever st stay in front of Feng just blocking because he will destroy you. Mm. Step left or back dash. Okay? Always. In every situation. Of course, I step forward will cut you if you step, but because with timing, you can block it. You know? Uh, yeah, check it. What you did is perfect. Okay. Punish. Or. You can know, I, can I, like, like try, try do that again? I just want to see if I can backdash low parry, if I can see it on. No, you can do backdash uh, low guard. This is what a lot of people at high level do. Because, do again, okay? Check. Oh no my gosh, yo! No mix up. Yeah, so Bagdash is super strong against Feng. And if you think he go to use down 4 1, down 2, step left. Don't try, don't go into the mix up, okay? Step left. Don't go because people try guess if I go to do down back, down 2, if I go to do down back 1, if I go to do down 4 1. Don't try, don't fight against only one movement. Fight against a range of movement. Okay, what is the. What is the mm, weak spot of down four one, down two, and down back one? Step left. So, bang, bang. You, oh don't, you don't have to guess. You don't have to guess. Check it. It's like. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, so. That's crazy. So, so. Yeah, so now, now use back four, but I don't get anything. Just some damage, and we reset the match, you know? Yeah. Because in that, if you get hit by back four, it's like after back four, always back dash crouch. Always, okay? Mm. Because I will use, you know, after back four, only down four or down back three will reach. So, Feng has an option here. Get hit by uh, back four. Okay. And do back dash crouch, okay? Oh, get hit by it, okay. Uh, Hold on. Okay? What I can do is like. Oh, sorry, I missed. Yeah, this is the option, okay? But uh... a good player will do backdash crouch up, always. You know, when you are facing, I was playing against Kang, you know, Fate Kang from Pakistan. Yeah. We were playing some matches, so after back four on hit, back back, down up, always. Try, okay? Okay. Get hit by back okay. four. Okay. And people say, oh, oh, King Jai can see everything. <laughs> it's only fast guards, okay? Fast guards are very strong in this game. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. It's the same because I can do 4 4 2 after, so different. So, when you are preparing against a character, you have to fight against his range. Every character in the game has mistakes in their range of movement, okay? For example, a Feng step left or uh, what they say about the fast guard in the mix up, back, back, crouch, or you remember 1 2 2. Yeah. Yeah, you so, remember what you have to do, right? Backdash. Yeah, backdash crouch. Yeah. Check it, check it. Go to check it. So you want me to hit? Yeah. Ooh. You have. Uh, this is the other option, but you have to get up if you see that. Okay. Okay. So taking defense is always do something and react to other stuff. You know. Yeah. Uh, hit. Hi, get bro. hit. Okay. Check. Oh, what? Badash, 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 badash. What? 
difficult. It's difficult. But it's difficult, you but you, you have, I think it's you one of those things you have to put in practice mode and kind of like seeing and you kind of know the difference. Yeah. It still will be a mix up and it still be like a triangle mix up because it's like, yeah, I can do the mid, I can do the grab, I can do the low, I can do the mid that will catch you ducking. So it's one of those things that you would have to kind of like just actually lab and actually have a look at it and put it in there for like maybe like 10 minutes, see how it goes mm -hmm. and you'll get better over time. But Yeah, of course. It's, you know, a small time, five minutes per day and in 10 days you destroy a character. <laughs> Always the same. Fang or other character. Mm -hmm. Except Akuma. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to... Uh... We need to talk about Akuma, but we're going to close this one out because this thing episode okay. was probably one of the best Teach Me episodes I've had because Thank you, man. the explanation with a lot of the stuff, you explain like how to do a certain stuff, you've given mix-up opportunities with diff like different scenarios and stuff like that and yeah man, the, the teaching is, was very very good, I felt like I learned a lot more of how to deal with thing how to deal with certain situations, come out of certain situations as well, so I definitely like this one personally as one of my favourites, so Thank you very much for taking your time out to do this one. It's thank you, Kinja. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you and thank you to everyone who is watching us. Thank you very much. Give out your social media so the people know how where to find you, man. Yeah, on my Twitter, on Kuiper, I will share, okay? Because, you know, I, I love Tekken. I love make stuff about Tekken. Mm -hmm. And this year is weird. I will share on the chat. Mm -hmm. This year is weird because of COVID, but anyway, I will try to keep going, you know, <laughs> keep going with Tekken. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Kinjai, and everyone for being here. I, I love it. I love teach Tekken and play Tekken, so thank you. Well, you're welcome, man. If you can just say it as well, I know you posted it in the chat, but if you could just say so that people know, because um, this will be going up on YouTube as well. That's where most of the people will be viewing it as well, if they that miss this, oh. this part. Okay, so you say that YouTube, right? Yeah, anything. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. YouTube, this is your time Twitter to push. Twitter is in the chat right now, and my YouTube channel... At the moment it's in Spanish, but I have to do it in English and I will do it in English. I need to improve my English, I, I love it. But yeah. you have some cool videos on my YouTube channel at the moment mm -hmm. with nice edition. Yeah. <laughs> so you have my YouTube channel right there. You have to see, you have to see Kaipo, you have to say it so they know. So like your Twitter from what I can see is C-A-I-P-E-R-M-G. Your Twitch is C-P- Yeah, C yeah, your Twitch is C-P- C-I- C-I- C A I P E R M G and then your YouTube search for Kaipa M G and you'll find him. Oh, thank you for the soup. Sky to Rush TV, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the gift sub Sky to Rush. But we're gonna close out this episode. This one's been a long one. I hope it's informative. We're gonna get on to the next one in two minutes. But yeah, thank you very much everyone that's been watching this. Hope you lot subscribe and I hope you lot support the boy Kaipa man. Take it easy everyone. Peace. <laughs>